What's up, YouTube? It's PZ Estrian here. I'm going to be doing my first sort of Zippo Collection update video. I have shown my entire Zippo Collection twice in two other videos, but those um, two videos are quite outdated. I have obtained quite a few more Zippos. In fact, I've obtained uh, five new Zippos since my um, most recent sort of Zippo Collection debut. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be showing you those, but I'm actually going to be showing you seven lighters because um, a few of these didn't make it into the in, didn't make it into it because of certain things. So, anyways, yes, and the uh, the other reason why I'm making this video is because um, next week I am going to be going on a family beach trip with my family and my mom's side of the family. Last last beach trip I was on was my dad's side of the family, except my immediate family didn't go with me, but this time it is my immediate family and my mom's the, my mom's side of the family, and uh, I will definitely be getting Zippos there. And notice that I said Zippo in plural. I am planning on getting quite a few, um, but, you know, I'm not going to go crazy. I'm going to try and keep myself <laughs> a little bit restrained, but defi I, de I definitely know I'm going to be getting one um, from the actual resort because there's several wings around there. I know I'm getting one, another one. Uh, at this other place, it's kind. Of, it's actually. I think it's actually. Um, what is it? I think it's actually um, related or um, affiliated with Broadway, like in New York. It's just that this is a smaller version of that. I. I don't know if it's like actually associated with it or not, but it is. It's literally called Broadway at the Beach, and I know they'll have Zippos. In fact, there's several stores in there with Zippo displays. I will definitely pick one up there, um, and we'll just see. I know I'm going to get at least two. So anyways, yeah, that's why I'm making this video now. So anyway, without further ado, let's get into it, because who knows how long this video could be. Okay, so here is Zippo numero uno. I probably should have macroed in a little bit before I did this, but whatever. Here it is. Now, you might be wondering, wait, that's, uh, you showed that one in your last video. Uh, in fact, in your last two videos you showed that one. Actually, I did not. Let me give you guys a quick explanation as to why I'm dim um, as to why I'm showing you guys this one now. I'll set that down for now, and I'll move it so it's not so washed out. Mm, there you go. I know it's not in center, but whatever. You can still see it. Okay, so this is the. Um, I'm gonna try and tell you the story really quickly. I've, this is literally like my third time shooting this video because well, whatever. But anyway, yeah, the other three times I tried telling it, it I couldn't upload it for some reason. Anyway. This Zippo, um, it, one day at school, actually, um, it was about two weeks before we let out, of, before school let out, I want to say it was on a Thursday, I do know it was on a Thursday, um, I was walking, it was where, um, you know, I was waiting for my mom to pick me up because school was over, I was walking, I was just kind of walking through the hallways, I tend to do that, I just kind of wander through the hallways for some reason after school if I'm just waiting, because at the time it was kind of hot outside, I suppose, and I don't know, whatever, anyways, I was doing that, and I was actually heading out this out of the school, and I see one of my good friends walk in. Now this guy, he does he doesn't really attend school there, but he does attend an after school program. Okay, and that's all I'm gonna say about that. But he um, he walked in, and I was like, hey, what's up? We didn't we I haven't really seen it. I don't really get to see him that much because um, I, I had class with him the previous semester, but then you know things happened. So, um, but. I was like, hey, what's up? And he said hi, and we were walking down the hall, and I um, decided I wanted to show him one of my Zippos that I had on me, because I figured he'd think it'd be pretty cool. So I did. And he's like, oh, wow, that's pretty cool. Do you want to trade? And I knew he was kind of semi-joking, because it was such a nice Zippo, and I will actually be showing you the Zippo a little bit. But, you know, I'm like, um, no, but what do you have on you anyway? And uh, he's like, oh, I'll sh I have this on me. And he pulled out this lighter. And my eyes absolutely just popped out of my face. I was like, what? Are you serious? That's awesome. And so, what I decided to do, what I decided to do is, um, luckily I hadn't really been carrying my brush chrome zippo lately, but I decided that day that I would actually start carrying it again. What a perfect timing. What perfect timing. Um, so I was like, alright, I tell you what, totally pointless trade. I will trade you that zippo for a zippo exactly like it. Okay, the only real difference is that it was made a month later than this one. And he's like, okay. So, we made the trade, and we didn't, you know, I had to go, so I was... But yes, I was stoked to get this Zippo. 
Why, you might be asking. Well, let me explain. As y'all might also know, in fact, I mentioned this in those two videos that I've been referencing so many times in this video. I sold my first ever Zippo, ever Zippo to somebody, and I thought he lost it. In fact, he told me that, you know, the guy who I sold it to told me that he lost it. But as it turns out, the guy, that guy was actually this friend. So yes, I've been reunited with the Zippo, because apparently it was actually in his pocket the whole time. He thought he left it on, on some trip or something, but it just, it was in his pocket and he forgot about it. But yes, I was like, oh, you've got to be kidding me. So this is actually my first ever Zippo. I have been reunited with it, and I am so happy about that. There's the, well, you can't really hear the sound because of the microphone problem, but yes, that's, um... My first ever Zippo for ya, and for those of you who might remember from my first ever Zippo unboxing, which actually is a fairly recent upload, but from some of my older Zippo videos where I was showing this off, you'll remember that. It was made in I of 010, September of 2010, and as you can see, it was. And you'll also remember the insert match. Had a matching insert. In which case, it does. Alright, so yes, there you go. Obviously, since he used it, he used it quite heavily. Um, there are quite a few scuff marks on it, as you might be able to see. It's really hard to tell when I'm focused on it, but I think right there I got it. You know, there's a few little wear marks here and there. Actually, right there, it almost looks like the brush is kind of gone. But yeah, I mean, scuffed up. The sides are no longer quite nearly as shiny as they used to be. But yeah, that's, that's pretty epic. I was stoked super duper stoked to be reunited with this thing. So, anyways, that was far too long of a, a segment of that, but anyways. Alright, I'm not going to hit the shutter release button. I'm going to go ahead and move straight into the next one. This is, uh, this next Zippo is another one that I sort of, oh, well, here, I have to. I actually showed the box to this Zippo in my last version of the up, of the update. As you can see, it's the fan test model, but I didn't actually have the Zippo on me because it was in Bradford, so I'm just going to show that for those of you who've only, who are only following, you know, the videos where I'm showing some of my collection or, you know, just collection updates or whatnot, that I got it back. It's still got a tight hinge. I am desperately searching for motor oil. Be for some reason, we don't have any, and, or at least I don't know where it is, and I just don't feel like buying any. But yes, um, Zippo the Fantest, that is what it looks like. For those of you who are wondering, I do have a video where I show it more up close in detail. So if you want to look that up, just look up Zippo, the, uh, a closer look at the Fantest Zippo. Look that up on, in my, on my channel page and you'll be able to find that. So anyways, that's it for that one. Alright, let's move swiftly on to the new Zippos, alright? So where I left off, this is after from where I left off. Okay, this is after that. And here we go. So, and I, I, I've already shown all these in their own separate videos. It's just like I said, for those who are maybe don't, you're just watching the, you know, bolt massive updates like the, or I show several of those at a time or whatever. Anyway, I don't know why I have to say that every single time. I won't say it anymore. I, I will not say it anymore. <laughs> whatever. Anyways. Fail. Anyways, this one here. Um, is, um, actually my Zippo bolted. I've shown this thing a lot in the videos, and you'll note the box condition is, uh, getting a little bit on the beaten up side. I like to carry this and show it around, show it off, but I, as I mentioned in that video, and I do, like, when I do carry it, I carry it inside the box. I've only filled it once, and I didn't fill it very much, but, um, yeah, I actually have decided this is not really going to be a user, but I do like to carry it with me sometimes, because if I ever get the uh, opportune, uh, opportunity, <laughs> I show it off. Because I think it looks amazing. And you will probably understand why I think it looks amazing. Alright, this is actually also, while I'm talking about the Zippo, this is also the Zippo that I won off of We Are Two Doors Down. I highly recommend you check his channel out. He's pretty cool. He doesn't really do Zippo videos, but he does have a few, or um, some, uh, you know, not very many, but, you know, a few. But anyways, he does do them, and... Um, I'm g there is an interesting story to this Zippo, but since I took so long to tell you this... Ow! My elbow locked up. This is my elbow that I injured, by the way. It locks up now. It's so... <sighs> Judging by how long I talked about it, it took me to take... You know, uh, I'm going to spare you on that story. Now, if I can only stop repeating myself. Uh, you can see the date on this is J of... Um, 
11. That's October of 2011. It is my first and only armor case. And uh, it's definitely a nice one. I like, I like the noise the armor case ones make. You know, I mean... People tend to say that, you know, uh, they're not quite as loud. I mean, they're not, they're not, the ping is nowhere near as good as a Zippo, like a, a regular Zippo, but I just like the noise it makes. You know, it, it just sounds really high quality in my opinion. I don't know why. But yeah, anyway, that is my Zippo Bolted. Definitely, definitely my favorite Zippo. Definitely has to be my favorite Zippo, and I haven't actually looked at it in a little while, so I'm glad I get to look at it again, just for the sake of making this video. Okay. Let's continue with this one. Hmm, what Zippo could this be? I don't know. It must be an 80th anniversary Zippo. Let's move on. No, I'm just kidding. Um, yes, um, this is an 80th anniversary Zippo. I got this actually on a sort of day trip with my family. We just kind of went out of town just to hang out. So we do that sometimes. I don't know if y'all do it. I'm pretty sure you do. But yes, this is the model 28192, and this is model 20991. Uh, 20991. This is model 24384. This is model I don't know. And yes, I do actually remember those model numbers off the top of my head. I'm going to see if I can actually, if I've actually remember as the model numbers. I'm going to do that for the rest of this video. Um, but yeah, this is Zippo 80th Aniv. And as you can see, um, here it is. This is what it looks like. It's got a herringbone finish, um, which I like. It's, a, it's sort of a brushed chrome, but instead of going straight like this one does, as you can see, this one's nice and, and straight across. I think all they did was they had Zippo open like this, obviously without the insert in there, but they had it open like this, and it was, you know, held in this position, and that's where the, the brush went across it diagonally like that, thus producing that um, sort of crisscross herringbone style brush, which is pretty cool. Um, the only thing that is a mystery to me, and by the way, this is made in um, November of... Um, 2011. Um, the only thing that's a mystery to me is that it's got a bizarre finish on the sides. It's not high polished, but it's not street chrome. It's like in between a high polished, a high polished chrome and a street chrome. It's like the in between stage of that. Um, I'll get you a close up on that. As you can see, yeah, I don't know what that finish is. If anybody could tell me, like I said, it's in between high polish and street chrome. And there's the stamp for you again, by the way. Don't really know that it has a matching insert too, but I don't really know what that's all about. Um, but anyway, yeah, usually brush chrome zippos have very high polished, uh, high polished sides. Oh, also, there's a um, little insert on the back there if you want to read that. Go ahead. Of course, you might need to rewind that a little bit because I kind of rushed that. Anyways, next. All right, you might recognize this box if you're into zippos. This is a obviously a 1941 replica, and I can tell you off the bat, the model number is 1941, which must mean this is the high polished, uh, or not the high polished, the um, just the regular brush chrome. It's actually not the um, black ice. The black ice model does have a different model number than 1941, which I thought was kind of strange, but I guess it makes sense there since they are kind of different finishers, and therefore they're technically different models. But yeah, this is a 1941 replica, as you can see, if I compare it to a, a modern day Zippo, um, it's a look a little bit different, as you might be able to tell right there. Um, this has more squared off corners at the bottom, this one has rounded corners, it does have a um, flat sides, the sides are a little bit more flat, a little flatter. If I can say that. Uh, while the modern zippos have rounded edges, um, inserts, quick comparison. Um, this uh, has a 16 hole chimney. This has a 14 hole chimney. As you can see, a hole is missing there. I, sorry that I'm not that good. Yeah. As you can see, there is a hole missing right there. Um, there's also a hole in the um, um, batch pin. Um, what is that called? Seriously, what is that called? Um, I know it has a name, I just can never remember it. It's weird. Uh, but yeah, there's a hollow pin right there. Um, yeah. And uh, if you want to see the differences, they're, they're all listed right there in case I missed one. Yeah, it also has a four barrel hinge. Let's see, one, two, three, four. So, anyways, yeah, that's the 1941 replica. Um, so, that's that one. Got this one at um, a little shopping center that's really close to our house. I just, uh, there's a new tobacco shop there, and I just, we were over there with my grandma, and I was like, what the heck, I'm just going to go over there and get one. Because I hadn't had a Zippo in a little while. Okay, now, we're moving on. And I actually made a video on these very recently, so I'm not going to get into too much detail about them. I'm probably just going to show them, maybe, you know, tell you what it is. 
Now this one, I actually do not remember what the bottle number is. Um, it's 218. <laughs> really? 218? It's like the simplest thing ever. But it's the Motsi 8 Ball. Alright? And I, like I said, my like two videos ago, I, sh I gave a close-up of both of these, zip of these zippers I'm about to show you. So I'll just show you them real briefly. As you can see, it's um, just... Uh, it's actually an airbrush painting of some paint pool balls. I almost said paint balls, but it's not paint balls. It's pool balls on a black matte finish lighter. Very nice black matte on that one. It's not very. It's very consistent compared to my other one, which I actually found today. I found my other black matte zippo today. I was very happy about that. And lastly, my most recent zippo. This one does not have a sticker. I do know it's two. I know it's model two four nine four nine. Um, and it's, uh, I believe on the sticker it says the Meadow Ice World. This is definitely a sweet looking Zippo. It's definitely a sweet one. Alright, it's, uh, basically a Meadow Zippo, but underneath it, it has the World, uh, laser etched in it. It's actually a street chrome lighter with, um, the World laser etched out in it, and then it was dipped in the, um, whatever this Meadow finish is consisted of and in the video I made two videos ago <laughs> um, I got I also ta talked about how there's different um, versions of not the the world version but there are different finishes that are like this it's like the same coating but in different colors and I remember there's um the meadow and there's also um, it's called ceruleum is the blue the, the blue is called ceruleum um, you cannot, that, the lime green one, which I have never seen before, um, you know, in, uh, at least in a video, is actually called Lurid Green. Um, and then there's the, the, the Candy Apple Red, which you have probably seen before. Everybody, everybody has a Candy Apple Red Zippo, except for me, because I don't have one, obviously, but... Pretty much every single person who makes Zippo videos on YouTube has a video up on the Candy Apple Red Zippo. I would love to own one. I will definitely be getting one very soon. I just don't know when. Maybe if I find one at the beach trip, I might have to get one. Get one. Oh, and there's also the toffee color, which I don't think you can get it in plain toffee, but you can, you know, it, I know of two Zippos that have the toffee finish. It's the Buddha and the Bullet Hole, the newest bullet, fin the newest bullet model with the you know, bullet in it. It has its uh, toffee finish. Um, I might get the bullet one. Obviously, I'm not that much of a Buddhist, but that's just me. I'm just not into that, but you know, <clears throat> yeah. Although, maybe I'll get it one day. Maybe, why not? Why not? Anyways, I don't know. We'll see. Probably not, though, but probably, I don't know. I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I guess I want to collect all the toffees. I'll have to. Like, there's a, the, these zippos, the, um, Zippo Bolted is actually part of a, a, of a collection of Zippos, and, um, like, there's six models, and, um, some of them are a little bit harder to find than others, but there's one of them, and I said this in the past, that I would never own a Playboy Zippo, because I just do not agree with Playboy, you know, it's just not for me, but one of the models you can get that this is a collect, that it's a, that one of the models in the collection is actually a Playboy Zippo, but from what I've seen on Amazon, it's ridiculously rare. Well, actually, it's not ridiculously rare. It's just numbered. It seems to be numbered, which is crazy. And it's a little expensive, I think. But, you know, so this one is like $62 MSRP. But I got it for like... Actually, I got it for free. <laughs> Never mind. But I actually bought another one to give away. And that's where the weird story comes in. But, um, uh, yeah, I paid like $31 for it off of Amazon. So, yeah. Or actually $35. I want to say it was $35. Uh, anyways, yeah, that is my Zippo collection update. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I do apologize that I took forever to talk about this one. It's just, I think it's really cool that I got reunited with it. Um, and yeah, if you want to see the rest of my Zippo collection, I have videos up every single time I get a new Zippo. Unless if it's like a just ridiculous, what is that? That's a weird bug. Um, here, I got to kill that. That freak. That's freaking me out. It's, what is that? It's like right next to my 19, it's right behind my 1940 replica. But I'm gonna squish it before. What is that? That's freaking me out. I'm not. Oh, here, I have plastic water. Durr. All right, ready? All right, got it. Ah. It looked really cool. It's just I have no idea what it is, and I don't know if I uh, want it in my room or not.
Probably not. Okay, anyway. <clears throat> Um, I don't even know where I was going with that. So, oh yeah, if you want to see the rest ways of the collection, um, yeah, I have videos up every, like I said, every single time we get a new zip, I make a video just on it, and that video can go on for however long. But, you know, like, sometimes if I get maybe just a very basic model, like, sometimes, in case y'all buy, uh, I bought a few Walmart Zippos, I bought, like, five of those, and I only have videos on two of them because they're mine but there's a few and there's one that I really want to upload because I made a creeper face out of it <laughs> but I sold that I gave that one to a friend because I offered it to him um, but yeah um, yeah every single time I get a new Zippo like for my collection I make a video on it so you know yeah but anyways that's it very drawn out video I do apologize and out of focus wow I do. A, maybe I'll just like maybe I'll just take a picture of this and show that instead of the out of focus part. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching. Adios.